Welcome to the blessing of Ramzan 1444 Hijri and this transmission is brought to you by Pingu's English School and Yorika School System. This is your host Ayaz Bashir. In five and thanks to Almighty Allah who allow us to enter in 14 Ramzan. I am in a state of ambivalence, both happy and sad. Happy because Allah has blessed me another Ramzan in my life and sad because these blessing days are soon gonna pass. And Alhamdulillah, infinite thanks and praises are due to Almighty Allah. I send abundant peace and blessing upon Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam, his household, his companion, and all those who follow his guide path till the end of the time. Read with the name of the Lord, who has created man from cloth, and taught man what he knew not. I would like to call Sayyid Umar for recitation of the Holy Quran. Mashallah, this is this is very nice and it is the shortest verse of the Holy Quran that he has recited. Jazakallah. Now I would like to call Umama Ahmad for a recitation of Nam. Calligraphy stimulates neuronal activity. It is an art of carving texture to sign an impressive, skillful, and a harmonious manner. It is, it is the art that is brought by Muslims. I would like to call our beautiful calligraphers Fabiha, Abdul Bari, and Abdul Rafi. Yes, like this way. Good. 
Now I would like to call Shaheed for Quranic verse. And support one another in work of righteous and piety, and do not become accomplishing sins and transgression. This was a beautiful verse of Quran, and it was about the piety and the piousness. Piousness is what the essence and the objective of Ramzan and Rosa. So we are doing this from we are. Now I would like to call quiz participant. These are from Alice One. Are you prepared well? Yes. Now let's start round one of the quiz. Starting from you. What is Hijjatul Bida? The last uh, high performed by Prophet. Good. When was Ghazwai Banu Nadir fought? Good. Who suggested that trenches be dug around? Azza Salman Farsi. Well done, you are very well prepared. Okay. Participant 2. Who led the namaz e janaza of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No one. Everybody offered him Good. Nice. Who, who else is buried in the same chamber as Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Well done. Is there any room for a person to be buried in the same chamber with Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Fine, all is correct. Now coming to you. When was Ghazwai Ahzab fought? Nice. While the Prophet and Abu Bakr traveled to Medina, where did they hide? In Turkey. Well done. What do we call the activities that are mandatory? Fun. Well done. All have done wonderfully well and they are well prepared. The first round of the quiz is wonderfully done and all of them have uh, given the right answer. Now moving towards our next segment, it is Sunnah. Sunnah is the second source of Islamic values and Sunnah is the practical demonstration of the Holy Quran. Sunnah is needed in order to contextualize the Quran and without Sunnah we cannot understand the Quran as a whole. I would like to call Imam Bilal and Erish Fatma for the demonstration of Sunnah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Waliku Samira. Chabri Iman. Alhamdulillah. I am fine. Rahman, do you know about honesty? No, I only know honesty and good and without much more. Can you please tell me? Okay, man, I will honesty means he artful and what you say. Thank you for being honest. Yes, ma'am. Talking to Mr. Lamar, and Prophet Sallam, that person that follow the one who interested and do not seek the one who cheated, Inshallah, follow it. MashaAllah, they have told about the attribute of Prophet Sallam, being honest, and he was called Sadiq al for his honesty and virtuousness. Jazakallah. They have done wonderfully well. Hadith is the saying of Prophet Wasallam and it is also the source of Islamic values. We, uh, we are taking many things from Hadith. Hadith explains, clarifies and removes ambiguities about the Quran. Much of the Islam will remain mere abstract concept without Hadith. So I would like to call Zawiyar Ali for Hadith. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? 
Are you prepared? A lion is Malaika send blessing to those who eat sari. Yes, wonderfully done. Jazakallah. So true it is. Sari is the food that we eat and it is the blessing. Now moving towards the second round that is the buzzer up. Whoever will press the buzzer for will be given the chance to answer. Right? Are you all ready? Yes. You have to be attentive. Rather than raising hand, you will have to press the buzzer. And whoever will press the buzzer first, he will be getting the chance. Ready? Start. Right. It refers to the each atom, it refers to the earth, Rena, its secrets and revealing. Yes. Surat Jalzar. Right? Correct answer. Guess the name of the battle. In which, yes, right answer. In which the nine swords were broken. Fine. Yes. Guess the name of the caliph. He was the third caliph. He was given the title Money. Another smile. Right answer. Yes, guess the name of the Sura. It refers to the creation of man and its first letter is Ifra. Sura Allah. Yes, right answer. It was the first Sura revealed ever on Prophet. First five verses of that Sura were revealed. The last one. All right. Guess the name of the Prophet. The name of the Prophet who was the father of Hazrat Yusuf Salam and has twelve sons. Rightly done. Now moving towards our next segment. That is what the speeches. I would like to call Zahabia from primary to A. Assalamu alaikum. Or 
تیرہ عرشوں کی تقسیم اپنی جگہ پورا معنی رمضان المبایا کی رحمت و مغفرت اور جہنم سے آزادی کا پروانہ لے کر آتا ہے ابھی انسان کی اپنی کوشش ہے کہ وہ اس معنی رمضان سے کتنا فائدہ اٹھاتا ہے اور اپنے آپ کو کس طرح رحمت و مغفرت کی مستحق بناتا ہے اس ماہ مبارک میں عبادات کا ثواب بیان دیا جاتا ہے فیض کا ثواب ستر گنا ہو جاتا ہے میں اپنی تقریر کا ایک اقتدام اس انداز سے کرنا چاہتی ہوں کہ اس ماہ مبارک کے اس عشوی میں ہم کو یہ دو کام کو ضرور کرنا چاہیے پہلا یہ کہ زیادہ سے زیادہ استغفار کریں دوسرا یہ کہ نہیں get these benefits that we are getting. Every act of us is rewarded 70 times or even more. In the Tarabi prayer, we, in every sajda, we are getting 1500 uh, deeds from that Tarabi and all together they will be 60,000. So it is up to us that how we are get, gonna benefit from this Ramzan. Now I would like, now moving towards the round three, that is what the rapid fire and you will have to be very attentive while responding. You will be giving one minute and, uh, and you will be answering as much as you can. I will be a little quick so that you will be getting much chance or more chance. Are you ready yes. for the rapid fire? You will have to be very attentive. And, and then you will have to wait for the question to be in. Okay. What do we call the activities that are forbidden and punishable by law? Good. Correct. What did the Quraysh try plan to do to the Prophet ﷺ on the day he was rewarded by Allah to migrate to Madinah? Yes. Correct. Where is the Prophet ﷺ buried? In the Correct. The Prophet ﷺ said, Dash lies the feet of your mother. Well done, wonderfully well. Beside Quran and Hadith, Sharia also has two other sources. What are these? Okay, next. Uh, incorrect. It is Ijma and Qiyas. What is Jihad? Dreaming and uh, dwelling uh, in, of, the, of the cause of Allah. Correct. What was Abu Bakr nickname that his mother has given? Ati. Correct. The Quran provides us with the way. Moving towards the next participant. Wani, are you prepared? Yes. Be attentive then. Which Prophet was the grandson of Hazrat Ishaq? Hazrat Correct. Who is referred in the Quran, the second son in the cave? Good. What were the activities that are not clearly prohibited but are highly discouraged called as? Well done. Good. Correct. This student symbolically referenced the running mares with painting with painting bread. What's the name of that surah? Well done. Correct. Allah sallallahu ta'ala warns the people who are neglectful for prayers. Which surah refers to the negligence? Surah al maun Incorrect. Name the surah referring to the people entering the God's religions and crowd. Correct. What are the names of the two sons of Hazrat Ibrahim salam, who were also prophet? Hazrat Ishaq Hazrat Correct. Which prophet was the son-in-law of Hazrat Shuaib Hazrat Shuaib Should I switch for the next one? It has a Musa. What is the fundamental principle of economic system in Islam? Now moving towards the third participant. Ready? In which battle the three flag barriers of the Muslim army were mounted one after the other? 
Okay. Uh, the battle of Mota. Who was Hazrat Yusuf Salam's father? Correct. What was the Islamic law of inheritance prohibit? Okay, moving towards other unequal distribution among inheritance. While the Prophet was alive, what was Zaid bin Sabit's job? When the Quran was given to Prophet his job was to Correct, correct. If we say that man is Khalifa, we mean that man is Dash. Who is man? If it is referred to Khalifa. Is the representative of Allah on earth. What does the serenity of Allah mean? Who will be the winner among you? Okay, now moving towards just wait for the results. We will be seeing that and we will let you know about this. Now, moving towards our last segment, that is what the word search is. Towards the last segment, that is what the word search is. I would like to call primary sync active participant. They will come and introduce themselves. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. You're looking nice, adorable. And you too. Introduce yourself. Yes, I am Wonderfully well. Come on, Bilal. Participated that there is a tie situation and all together they got 120 marks and 120 marks each. Now there will be an elimination round or qualifying round for the buzzer. 
Whoever will press the buzzer, I will be asking three questions. Whoever will press the buzzer, he will be the winner now. Who was the Muslim of Masjid Haram during the Prophet? Hazrat uh, Abu Mohzara. Yes, correct. Who was Hataf? Wania. It was the name of the sorrow from the Correct. Tie. And now it is the last. Whoever will press, he will be the winner. Who sent? Muhammad bin Qasim to sin. Yes, you have. No. Hajjaj bin Yusuf is the correct answer. Wanya, you have qualified finally. Wonderfully done. You got nervous. But it's a very good situation that happened in this transmission. Thank you, Jazakallah. You are very well prepared. It's the time for the appreciation of all those who have participated in today's transmission. I would like to call Fabia Zibran from Pragmy 1B. She has participated in calligraphy. Abdul Bari. Primary 1B Abdul Rafi Nadeem Shazir Abbas You have done a great job today I like your spirit and your participation Bania Farhan, the winner of today's transmission. Mohammad Rehan, you need to put great efforts and a spirit of winning too. Sayyid Muhammad Umar. Mama Ahmed Sayyid Shaheer Ahmed Fatma You have done wonderfully well You are prepared well Iman Milal Nice watch And your preparation was very well You have done wonderfully well Zabiyar Ali Zabiyar Now you will be eating Sehri Zabiyar Zahabiyah Farhan She has done wonderfully well Parva Jafri Winner of the quiz round. Bilal Naveed. You're looking adorable today. Very nice dressing.
रब राजी होता है रोजेदारों से दूर रहेगा हशर में वो अंगारों से नफ्स में जो काबू रखते हैं रोजेदार नफ्स के रब कहता है जन्नत के हैं वो हकदार हक से चलता है हम सबको ये पैगाम रोजा एक इबादत तकवा जिसका इनाम and it is what the piousness and the piety is what the purpose or the objective of roza or keeping fasting or observing fasting it is the primary objective to have the piety and the piousness and for this allah has given us the 30 days and if we will be acting on these 30 days then it will be sufficient or suffice for the whole year inshallah बेगुनाहों को जब वो जबान देता है पढ़ने को उन्हें वो कुरान देता है बख्शने पर जब आए वो उम्मत के गुना पढ़ने को वो उन्हें कुरान देता है जजाक असला